Hey everyone, this is Paulo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Underdog by DJ Markey and Inja. So this is the original track. And this is the bass we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so before we do anything in the synth, these are the notes that we're going to be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's jump into Serum. And so here I have an initialized patch. And the key behind the sound resides in creating harmonies using saw waves plus filters. So because of that, I'm just going to load saw waves on each oscillator. And now I'm going to create a harmony with all of them. So first the sub, I'm going to bring it down two octaves. And then oscillator A, I'm going to bring it down one octave. But I'm going to boost it four semitones so it creates a major third. And that's basically the harmony of the sound. Next, I'm going to bring B also one octave down. As you can hear, that's almost the sound. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to filter these oscillators. And for that, we're going to use an LFO, map it into the cutoff, hold Shift and Alt to make the modulation a unipolar. And we're going to bring the cutoff down and set this LFO on envelope and change it to something like two bars. So it's very, very long. And then add a little bit of attack like this and change the curve. Next, we're going to add some release. And as you can see, experiment with the LFO. In this case, I'm just going to leave it like this. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is change the decibel per octave gain reduction of the filter. So it leaves a little bit more of the high harmonics pass. Next, we're going to go into the effects and turn on the distortion. Add some tube distortion. And as you can hear, there's a little bit of clashing in the notes. So let's turn on the mono. So there's no notes playing at the same time. And we're going to turn on the always and add a little bit of glide time. So we don't have any clashing in the notes. Next, let's use a multiband compressor to bring the highs of the sound up. Now, as you can hear, this makes the sound a little bit harsh and too loud. So let's bring the sub down. Let's bring the mids up, actually, and let's bring the highs down. And now, if we want to reduce the tails, we can boost the release. If we have it all the way down. You can hear how the tail gets a little bit too messy. Cool. Before this multiband compressor, we're going to add a chorus and leave it like that. And then we're just going to add some reverb. Now, this reverb is only to showcase how the sound will fit in a mix. I do not recommend you to use reverb on the patch that you're going to use as your main sub. So I'm just adding this reverb to improve your perception of how this sound will fit in the mix. And so that is basically the sound. Now, if you want to make this more of your own, you can change the harmony. And of course, play different notes. And you can also change the LFO times, for example. That's very cool. Maybe I'll keep the same harmony, but change the LFO.
As you can see, the only thing you need to do to start getting a different sound ready is to change the harmonies, change the different modulations of the filter, and then play with the bass line that you are going to have in your track. So that's going to be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.